The chant I'm giving you for your manifestation meditation is one I learned in India from my spiritual teacher, Sri Shakti Narayani Amma. How I came to be at the Sri Narayani Pedam in southern India is a very long story for another day. But suffice to say, I found my way there in around 2005 and it completely changed my life. I've been going there ever since, whenever I can. One of the mainstays of the spiritual practices at the ashram is chanting. It pervades the air and if there aren't actual real life priests chanting, there are recordings of chanting playing. Simply chanting mantras raises the vibrations. Although this is a uniquely Eastern practice, I believe it resonates so deeply with those of us in the West because it allows us to connect with the divine within and without through the magical power of sound. Mantra study is something which can take years, but a very simple place to start is with so-called seed or beige mantras. These are mantras at their very simplest. And I'm going to give you a chant today which uses a beige mantra that I learned in India. It's Om Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Namaha Om Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Namaha I don't believe you need to know what this means for it to work, but I do believe it's a good idea to find out anyway. So let's break it down. Om Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Namaha. So, Om is said to be the sacred sound of the universe. Once you start to look into chanting, you'll see that many chants start with this sound, Om. I also love the idea that a friend of mine who spent five years as a Buddhist monk gave me. He said, Saying or chanting Aum is like picking up the cosmic telephone and starting a conversation with the divine. So that's Aum. What's next? Aum Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Namaha. So the mantra Shreem is a one syllable sound known as a Bij or Bija or seed mantra. It's the seed mantra of Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of wealth, success, beauty, abundance, and a lot of other beautiful things. The seed mantra Shreem actually comes from a Sanskrit root. It's from the word Shri, which is an honorific used as a sign of respect or to denote wealth and prosperity. So, Om Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Namaha. Maha means Great Mother and Lakshmi is the name of this beautiful goddess that we are calling in here. The suffix ye on the end of her name Lakshmi Ye is a respectful way of addressing Lakshmi. It's like the formal way of addressing her. So, Om Shreem Maha Lakshmi Ye Namaha. And here, Namaha means I bow down. If you chant on a regular basis, you will see that the words Nama and Namaha are used interchangeably. For example, you may know the chant Om Namah Shivaya. If another word follows Namah, then the second part of the vowel is not pronounced. So Om Namah Shivaya. But if it's at the end of the sentence, as in this case, this mantra of Om Shreem 
Mahalakshmiye Namaha, then it's pronounced Namaha. We will chant it 108 times. Why 108? According to Ayurvedic teachings, we all have 108 mama points in our bodies. In other words, 108 vital points of life force in our body. So mantras are chanted 108 times to activate each point. If you would like to learn more about mantras and chanting, I highly recommend a book by Dr. Kulreet Chowdhury, who is trained as a Western and Ayurvedic doctor and who happens to go to the same ashram as me in India. The book is called Sound Medicine and I found it mind-blowing. So now, here's the chant. Om Mahalakshmi Namaha 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 Lakshmi Namaha Om Maha Lakshmi Namaha Om Maha Lakshmi Namaha Lakshmi Namaha So there is your manifestation meditation to the goddess of abundance and all good things Lakshmi